Hey boys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to finally put this electronic throttle on the carbo. We're gonna replace the thumb throttle with this. So I'm gonna wire this thing in same way that I wired the thumb throttle in. Yeah, so we'll do a little tutorial in this video as well on how I do it. There's probably other ways to do it, but this seems pretty successful and doesn't require any solder. So I'll show you guys what you need to do in the video to do this yourself. I got this off eBay, they're easy as to find. There's another brand as well, D Domino or Domino. Or it looks more quality, but this one was half the price, so I got two. So let's give this a shot, boys. All you're gonna need to do this mod my way is some heat shrinks, the smallest ones, four mil amp key to undo the controller, hot glue gun, and these connectors, JST connector box from JCAR. Those pins there. It's probably not focusing on them. I've got a brand new i3 that I got from Scooter Hut as well. This thing's gonna be totally modular. I can swap out the thumb throttle, keep that intact, and replace it with this. And if I don't like it, put the thumb throttle back on because that thing goes hard, but I'm hoping this is even better. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this i3. I'm not gonna show you me opening it, but basically it's just a longer screw in there. Three other screws, obviously take the clamp off and yeah you're into it this thing will spring back but that doesn't matter because we're not using it so we're gucci let's open this up all right so we've got the screws out the back i'm gonna slowly pull that off this thing here i like to just pull forward so it releases a little rubber contact now we can put this aside we've got to mod that later now we've got to take the screw out of there set the screw aside pull that out don't need that anymore got three of these things laying around and there is everything. That little transistor there, that's what we're dealing with. Not that shit again, it's even smaller than I remember. You wanna cut it as close to the top as possible. That's why these side cutters I definitely recommend. I like to cut from both sides first. Sorry, I just need to see this if the camera angle sh shit. That one's through. Okay, she's off. Now one thing we have to do is slightly bend these pins out so that we can fit the connectors on. So that's what the fingernails are for because I like to be able to feel the tension. So this is the worst part of the whole thing. For sure. That one's far enough. So I definitely recommend growing your fingernails for this job. <laughs> At least one. Okay, that's ready. Let's cut the cable down on this and strip it back. This cable is long as hell. So I'm gonna give us quite a bit to work with. I don't care if it's long. Forgot to mention, a pair of these really comes in handy for cutting the transistor off. Strip this back. Also, these help too. Okay boys, so I've cut the wires out. Now we're gonna cut some heat shrink and slip them on the wires because you wanna put that the heat shrink on first. Let's cut this transistor off. So the thing with this transistor is it's way easier to slide it up from the wire side than slide it up and over. Now I'm going to strip them back. Okay, so the wires are stripped. Now we're going to fold them over. Now I like to fold them over so they clamp better into the little clips that we're going to clamp them into to make our own little hot glue plug. Okay, so now we grab the clips. Three of these. One, two, three. Now with the clips, I like to hold them in there like this. Push the wire in. I might just compress this wire. So yeah, I like to put the wire in like that. <coughs> and just squeeze it tight. Fingernails are good here too. And grab that little tab and bend it over. And compress it. So the heat shrink will slide over that bad boy. Lovely. Okay, so I'll do all three. I've got all the connectors on. Now I'm gonna slide all the heat shrinks up right to the tip. Now this part's pretty crucial boys, I think that you need to get the heat shrink right to the end of the pins so none of them are contacting at all. So I just like to hold my finger on the front and force it up there. We've got all these up to the end, I'll apply a bit of heat. I guess you could electrical tape these if you didn't have heat shrink. So now we're going to hot glue them together. So I'll get the pliers, now it goes blue, brown, black. It's quite hard to get it in position to glue. You just got to get them all facing the same way, which is up. 
and glue the face with the wires going blue, black, brown, left to right when you're looking at it first because that's the side that faces away from the little controller on this thing. Okay, now I can just hold the tip really side together. Just put some glue right near the end. So I'll hold that for a while. That looks good. Put a little bit on the back side, not much, but on this side, just enough to protect a bit of it. I'll hold it together. This side you don't want too thick because it slots on that way. You might just thicken up the side, join the front to the back. Okay, that looks good. What we're going to do now is loosen up these pins with a bigger connector. Really rig them in there, I reckon. Try to compress that a bit. So these pins are slightly bigger than the other ones. Oh yeah, that's going to slide on like a dream. So this thing's greasy. Dry it off with a rag, clean off as much grease as you can. I guess you can do grease if you want. Can't be bothered. So I'm going to screw this thing in now. So we can hot glue to that thing as well. I screwed that in so we can screw the case back together and I don't get any hot glue where I need to mount it, basically. Hot glue gun's ready, mount's ready, slots are ready. I think that's on, I hope I didn't break it. Gonna super glue it up top here again. So this is the same way I did the thumb throttle video. So I don't think I'm gonna go full out. I've already put a fair bit on. Pretty stable to test. Shine a light under there and have a look. That looks damn good. Okay, so we're gonna test this out now. Okay boys, so the wires go, I think this time after mucking it up last time, they go blue, black, brown. I've been discussing this with Alphabet Soup. You guys should check out his channel. I'll link that in the description. While this dries, me and him discussed it a bit. I wired it up differently last time, so see if it works this time boys I'm just gonna cut them. not even gonna bother showing you that cuz it was just a waste of time it just didn't even die three didn't even turn on I was like what the hell the wiring was wrong so gonna try this out hey boys let's fucking try this out turns on yes Holy fuck! Okay, now that was weird boys, so in first gear then, it was cutting out halfway through the throttle. But in third gear, you get the full throttle. So does that mean I have to ride third gear only? I don't know, but we're gonna glue this up and put it back together. Because I don't think it's getting much better than that. That was, that was odd. This is the Y layout that I ended up with. From left to right, blue, black, and brown on the Magura clutch, that is. Twist throttle. Magura twist throttle, that is. The connectors slid on prime, now I'm just going to put some extra glue on it. But not any higher than what it already is. It's like to create a little reinforcing ring around the thingo. Because these have to bend down as hard as possible. Because we're going to super glue them over there. But we'll leave that because we don't want to snap those pins. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. Yeah boys, so I just hot glued here as well. So. Now I'm going to have to shave the back out of the case. Show you what the case looks like now. And I've got to shave a heap out of this bit. I'm back after I've done that. I've um, checked this out. I've done a pretty damn terrible job and I'm not proud of it. But i will just still looking it up for now. And I've got a spare back one of these. So I'll redo it maybe during the week next week and switch it over but yeah i'll get this on there for tomorrow and put some silicon in there and she'll be right screw this puppy on get it on the scooter finish this video just remember boys when you're putting the last screws in the big screw goes in the middle under where you took the sticker up just you can push down a little bit on the it's going to be a bit tighter than what it was before you just you'll know like if it's sticking up too high then you're not going to make it but if it's just like a couple of mil then you can just press on it a little bit the hot glue will hold the pins from snapping and it should just compress the wires a bit and you should be right let's test this out and then put it on the bars there you guys so i've got the throttle on seems good let's go for a quick soot 
good, boys. Yeah, first ride with this thing. Let's be, it doesn't come on out there. Okay boys, so this video is not going to be over tonight. I won't show you this field and yeah, I want to get this sorted. It's definitely not working 100%. See you when I figure it out. Okay boys, so I've been to J-Car and gotten some trim pots and more heat shrinks. Um, there's one thing I want to try. So this is where I'm going to dissect the cable for those if what I'm going to try doesn't work. Now according to this website, just the blue and brown wires are used. So I'm going to try snipping the black wire and plugging it into the scooter and just seeing what happens. Okay, that was a foul. So now I'm going to wire a one of these onto here. First of all, I end up wiring on the 10k trim pots and it turns out that the minimum on a 10k was too high for the trim pot that we needed so I, I was talking to an electrical engineer friend he suggested to use the 5k trim pot so I didn't actually get a video on the install I'm not sure why I didn't what I did was I used the same connections that I used on the i3 mod like to plug into the transistor those tiny little crimped connections on the end of the wires and end up flipping those over the pins on like the little tags on the carbon 5k one okay fellas this is what we've come up with now after talking to my electrical engineer friend he suggests that we try the 5k trim pots because the 10k's weren't working for me so let's try this out see how it goes after plenty of mucking around i've tuned these so the 5k's work great so the blue one is at, at pretty much minimum resistance I'd say the red one is about halfway around the trim pot to where i feel like the scooter was running before and for instant throttle because like you can tune these and the scooter like if you turn it the scooter actually starts it's going without the accelerator on it was literally a game of playing with these now i'm going to figure out the exact resistance that we need on both wires in the future and definitely either update the description of this video or do another video and mention it and make sure it's in the title this is a way to get it to work so i'll set the camera up and show you it twisting i'll see how i twist that as soon as i twist it Now I want to cover this but I want it to be temporary and to keep these two apart obviously but I'm not sure I might just put heat shrinks on it. You'll find out in this video anyway. Uh, by the way these clips out of this JST connector box but he clipped on this mint and then I put some solder over it after because it stuck to the clips way better than it was sticking to those pins and yeah she's held on prime. I'm going to put it on the scoot and probably do a few test rides either tonight or in the morning. I'll see how you go. Okay fellas, now we've got it all back on. Setting three, we go. Setting one. Friggin' awesome. How's that throttle response? That is amazing boys. Setting three. Hell yeah. Okay fellas, this hole here, gonna fill it with this clear roof and gutter silicon. So show you that it's far from perfect, but I just tied it up with a paddle pop stick as much as I could. And yeah, it's sealed. Ready for a ride tomorrow. So yeah, I gotta dust the meter up. I'll get some readings on the resistance on these trim pots. I'm gonna make a Mark II with just resistors instead of trim pots. So it'll be a lot smoother and I'll put a better heat shrink over it and I'll do something better with the controller this time. I might even do that as a quick tutorial. Hey, so if you guys made it this far, I really appreciate that. I try to make this video as informative as I could with what I filmed during the process. The next one I'll try to improve on this one again. I just want my content to be better more informative for you guys because like i like that stuff for myself so i want to be able to make it for you guys i enjoy doing this this troll is bloody unreal and i can't wait to see more people with it on their scooter and i'm hoping that i'm part reason for that because it, it was so easy 
to do. Please drop a like on the video if you actually found it helpful and consider subscribing because there's going to be heaps more videos like this coming up and a lot more riding videos. Got two different cameras now for when I go riding. Footage is going to be a bit better than just one angle. See how it goes. Cheers for watching boys. Peace.